Great news for those who edit dialogue audio for video in Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition 2015.1 release came out today. It's December 2nd, 2015. And the great new feature that I'm most excited about is this new match loudness panel. So this replaces what used to be called match volume, I think it was. I don't even remember now. Um, but in any case, the new match loudness panel is really helpful because it now has not only target loudness, which we had before, but now it has a max true peak level. So this is a true peak limiter. Great new feature will simplify the process of loudness normalizing your audio going forward. So let me just kind of run you through really quickly my process that I typically use for loudness normalizing a dialogue track. So I have a mono dialogue track here. And the first thing I'm going to do is measure where we're at already. So I just come over here to my amplitude statistics. If you don't have that, go up to window and choose amplitude statistics, scan this. It's checking the file and it shows that our overall loudness right now, that's a mouthful here, but we'll just call it loudness, minus 29.49. Now, because it's a mono file and we'll be distributing this particular video piece on the web, we really wanna kinda of get this up to minus 19 LUFS. And in doing that, we also need to keep our true peak amplitude under control. We wanna have that at least at minus one dB true peak. So what happens if we were to just take this clip, this audio clip here, drop it down in our match loudness panel, and then match loudness, let's go to minus 19 LUFS, We'll give it a tolerance of one loudness unit. That gives it a little bit of wiggle room so that if it doesn't exactly hit that target, we can say, hey, you can go either way by one loudness unit, that'll be all right. And then we wanna get our max true peak level to minus 1.5. Let's see what happens when we just apply that to this clip right here. So it runs through, does some analysis and all right, good news. Well, it is now loud enough, but we have another problem. So if I run the amplitude statistics again, you can see our loudness is now minus 19.73. However, to do that and to match that true peak amplitude, it had to chop off a lot of these waveforms here. That's not ideal. So let's do a little bit of compression so that we don't run into that issue. So the way I'll do that is go up to effects, amplitude and compression. Let's just use our single band compressor. It's very simple and straightforward. I just really wanna pull in these peaks here. I don't wanna affect all the rest of the body of the audio, but let's pull in these peaks here. So let's get our threshold set to minus 15. That's the top of this window right here. Anything above this will actually be compressed by the ratio that we set. This is a three to one ratio. That means every three dB above the top of this window will be compressed down to one dB. We'll go ahead and put our attack at one millisecond, our release at 150 millisecond, settings that I find work often pretty well for most dialogue, and then our output gain at zero. Apply. Okay, that's definitely compressed things down and brought in those transients quite nicely. So next, let's come back over here to our match volume, and let's try that again. Now, minus 19, one, and a true peak level of minus 1.5. Run that. Okay, that's looking a lot more sane. It is still chopping off a few of them, but not as extremely as it was. Now what I would do is because almost all playback systems are gonna be stereo, we're just gonna take this mono file and make it dual mono. That is to say, so that it will play out of both speakers regardless of uh, the playback system and how it's set up. And then just once again, to make sure we're good, we'll run this amplitude statistics. We're looking for a loudness of minus 16. When you go to stereo, you're looking for minus 16. If you're at mono, minus 19. Perceptually, the same thing. And uh, we definitely hit minus 16 there. And our true peak is minus 1.5. And this is what it sounds like at this point. Today, we'll have a look at the Sennheiser MKH-50 small diaphragm super cardioid condenser. Okay, sounding pretty good. So there's a quick demonstration of this fantastic new feature in Adobe Audition 2015.1 release, which again came out on December 2nd, 2015, we now have a match loudness panel with a true peak limiter. So we can target our loudness where we want it to be and also set the limit in terms of our true peak level and it'll take care of all of that for us. So hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure you do that. We'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Thank you.